Victoria, I'm here at the Jackson Police Department where the family of Dexter Wade rallied outside earlier today. They're still searching for answers and demanding accountability from JPD. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. It's been almost two years since Dexter Wade's death and his family is still searching for what happened to him. Authorities said Wade was walking near Interstate 55 and McDowell Road in March when he was hit by a Jackson Police Department vehicle. According to police, they were not able to identify Wade at the time of the crash. However, the Hines County Coroner's Office was able to identify him from medication found in his pocket. Wade's mother, better seen Wade Robinson, says there are still many missing pieces of the puzzle. No justice because we don't even know who or what. So, I mean, somebody hit him. Then no car hit him when nobody hit it. So, what? we looking for is justice. And they deserve somebody to step up and give them an answer. That's right. All they ask for some justice. How her son ended up in there. Don't she deserve the answers? Chief Joseph Wade says he has updated and created new policies within the department to prevent things like this from happening again. We updated our missing persons policy, which was a 20 year old policy. We updated it to make sure that we are doing the best practices as it relates to locating missing persons here in the city of Jackson. Also, for the first time, a death notification policy. That's very important to me as we move forward. I want us to be effective. I want us to be efficient as we police, and more importantly, as we serve this community. Wade says they are working with the U.S. Department of Justice to help them revise current policies and police training moving forward. The lawsuit against the Jackson Police Department is still ongoing. I'm live at JPD headquarters, Kennedy Cooper, 16 WAPT News.